time has really flown by. I just got another of those wonderful boxes from Lev Hayalam. Um, so I thought I'd just share the opening with you. A lot of people have asked me to do that. Wow. Well, hi everybody, this is Elizabeth with Live Simple, Live Free, and I'm going to be opening another one of my boxes that has arrived from Lev Hayolam. People have really enjoyed um, seeing what comes in these boxes, and unboxing videos are always fun. Lev Hayolam is a subscription service that I joined that is supporting uh, families with, with farms and businesses, artisans in the heart of Israel, in Judea and Samaria. And so I haven't opened this at all yet. I want to sh uh, share the opening with you guys. Lev Hayalam means heart of the world, which I think is really neat. All right, let me start getting this open here and we'll see what this one has in it. Um, it's always been so cool opening these. Um, I'm really enjoying it a lot. All right. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed something. The little symbol that I always see for Love How Long. Uh, it's right here. It's a heart. They're like heart of the world. Anyway, that's a map of Israel in the middle of it. I think I just realized that. Wow. Okay. They seem to always have a theme, and from everything I've been able to gather, it has fit often in with different festival times or things that would be appropriate um, to be studying about at certain times. So it's been really cool to see different themes um, in these boxes. I'm kind of learning that as I go along. Oof. Okay. All right, here we go. Let me get this out of the way. Put my cover back on my scissors. All right. <laughs> okay. This is saying, have a nice summer. Summer's on the way. The weather's warming up and the sun is shining again. We are hoping and praying that you see the lockdown restrictions lifted and you'll be able to get out once again to meet with friends and family and visit the parks and beaches. Oh, we are sending our best wishes and love by way of these natural and healthy products. Oh, let's, I don't want to, I don't want to look at this too much because I want to just be surprised as I find them. So, okay. All right. That's cool. I'll look at that some more. Okay, what is this? I think it's a towel. Let me see here. Oh, okay. Th this It is a towel. And now I realize that there's something on the back of this that has to do with the same picture. All the way back to the days of the Bible, the inhabitants of the land of Israel were dependent on rain from the sky and God's will to bestow it upon them. As it's written in Deuteronomy 11.11, 11, but the land where the go over to possess it is a land of hills and valleys, and drinketh water as the rain of heaven cometh down. Telling us that abundant rain, so vital to our existence, is correlated to our actions and the way we live our lives. So even a day the citizens of Israel follow with concern each winter the progress of the rising water level of the Sea of Galilee, which is the main source of fresh water in this country. So in the last winter we've had mostly winters with scarce rains, but thank God the past two years have been much better and represent the sea and at present, the sea has filled up to the highest level in memory. Oh, that's really cool. So, um, huh. Oh, I'm going to keep reading this. This is cool. A folk tale about giving and the clear waters of the land. There are only two inland bodies of water in Israel. I'll hold this, this flag up. I mean, this um, towel up. One is the Sea of Galilee, clean, fresh water, spawning fish and irrigating the lush vegetation along its shores. The River Jordan constantly pours into it the waters flowing down from the northern mountains. 
At his southern end, the waters continue on into the lower branch of the Jordan, sending them south to another sea, which is famously known as the Dead Sea. It contains the saltiest water of any sea or lake in the world. In, De in Hebrew, it's called the Sea of Salt, and in it no living creature can survive. There are no birds chirping along its banks, which are parched, lifeless desert. The disparity between the two is obvious. The Sea of Galilee gets its water from the Jordan River, but doesn't keep them to, to itself. The sea gladly receives her abundance and gladly passes on to where it's needed. Therefore, her water is fresh, full of vitality and movement. All the water going south flows into the Dead Sea, and there it stops, hoarded and kept in the lowest spot on earth. There it sits and stagnates, literally a Dead Sea. The land of Israel and its two seas are thus teaching us that giving is the secret of life. How cool is that? If, if you don't let anything in, you dry up. But if you don't let things out, you stagnate. So these are the two seas in Israel <laughs> on a towel here. And it says, giving is the secret of life. That is pretty cool. And that's really cool um, how they get that from just looking at what happens to the two seas in Israel. And it's really soft. <laughs> All right. Ooh, cocoa drink mix. Holy cacao. Bean to bar chocolate. We've had other things from like bean to bar. Holy cacao chocolate. Oh, neat. Oh, that sounds really good. Think you'll enjoy that, honey? I'll figure out what to do with it. <laughs> All right. And then inside this very careful protector. <coughs> oh, cool. I love pesto. This is basil pesto. Of course, pesto means it's made out of basil. Um, all right. So this they have this company cultivates olive groves and vineyards, and has olive press and markets high quality olive oil and wine around the whole world. Um, neat. Yeah, basil, uh, basil and pesto. Pesto is wonderful. This is going to be good. All right. So pesto, uh, towel, and cocoa um, mix. Ooh, something yummy. Oh, thanks, time for getting all that out of the way. So, vanilla flavor, pistachio, and cocoa beans. Little halva? Halva snacks. And I'm going to be looking in the book, I'm sure, and finding out more about these. Oh, that looks really good. They're little wrapped individual bars. You know... Some of these I might be able to eat. We'll see. <laughs> okay, Handmade with Love in the Jordan Valley. Okay, what is this? Cool. Oh, it's granola. <laughs> it says you take a photo of our granola at your home and share it with us on like, um, you know, what is that? Rosalia Patisserie. It's some, it's some um, granola. That looks really good. You see that? Okay. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, here I've got the usual little book that gives lots of information about all the stuff in here. And lets us know how things are going in Israel and about all these different companies that they're working with. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. Skin Protecting Spray. Herbs of Kadim cultivates rare Judean desert plants and makes herbal skin care products from them. Uh, the steep climactic change between the Dead Sea and the Hebron Hills has resulted in a variety of endemic plants and unique chemical content. So it's just, I think skin, like skin lotion. It's fun to get stuff like that. I'll, I'll read and learn more about it. I don't think this is a sunblock. I think it's just protective, like protective moisturizing. It's supposed to. See, it says skin protect, protecting spray. It's all natural stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Ooh. Oh, and as usual, it smells heavenly. And I don't see anything about. This being a sunblock, I think it's just protecting, like, you know, just moisturizing and protecting skin. Ooh, I think it also, from what I can smell with citronella in here, I bet you it keeps mosquitoes away, too. I'll find out more about it. Anyway, that's cool.
and it smells really good. Oh, this after sun relief formula. This is all summer stuff. The towel, the skin protectant. In fact, I'm gonna look at this one real quick. This is sunscreen. Like really like natural. Oh, it's all like herbs and stuff. Cool. It's SPF 30. And like all herbs and everything. And a lot of information about the company. Aragot. I've gotten stuff from them before. I'm starting to get kind of familiar with the um, companies. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my arm. My arms, you know, I'm trying to keep them protected. Cool. And it's like all natural stuff, which I appreciate. I'm glad you guys kind of enjoy going along for the adventure with me with this stuff. I really feel like that they have provided a lot of nice things, and I'm just very glad. But it smells good. I'm very glad to be able to help these little businesses and families and companies. Okay. Well, when I go out working on the garden today, I can... Oh, I put way too much. <laughs> I can super protect my arms and stuff from getting too much sun. Because the sun's good for this psoriasis, but burning is not, so... Okay. Ooh. Oh, that smells so natural and good. Very unusual to have sunblock that doesn't smell kind of a little bit chemically. All right. Now, this is an all-natural cosmetic. It's been nice because in these boxes, they're not duplicating stuff, so it's different stuff for me to be able to use. Rescue Skin Gel. Oh. Okay, for relieving any skin irritation, including burns, insect bites, and sun exposure. And you can refrigerate it before you use it for an extra cooling effect. Oh, that sounds actually pretty nice. Oh, got a little cap on it. All right, I mean... Now, I've put one thing here and one in the other. I'm going to put this just on my hand. Ooh, that's nice. Nothing they have sent has irritated my skin so far. And I've been pretty careful. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. That's so pretty. All right. That towel thing with the whole story about the Sea of Galilee and, and um, the Dead Sea is just really cool. I'm going to rub this in. Oh, that is actually, I don't know what all is in there, but it actually is cooling. And believe me, guys, if anybody's skin gets irritated, it's mine. Oh, I could just smell and smell and smell. Well, here we go, guys. This is pretty cool. Every single one of the boxes has been quite different. And um, let's just see. I've got, so granola um, and so just Desert Shield, I guess it's just a moisturizer. I will find out more about it. And some um, pesto, towel, hot cocoa. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick here, but I just want to see if this is any... Oh, of course, really good recipes. Always have good recipes in here. All right. Well, um, just, this is neat. You can find out more about the people that make all this stuff. So, I've loved this. Um, I'm so happy to feel like I can help and support these families in Israel. Well, now that I'm looking at this more closely, it says I have an organic protective cream, which I think is like the sunscreen here, a great relieving gel, which is this pretty, pretty one here, and then... This one that I thought might be a mos uh, mosquito repellent because I can smell the citronella is a mosquito repellent spray. So, all made from natural ingredients. And there's also a beach towel. So, wishing you a healthy, happy, and safe summer. Wow, that's cool. Okay. So, um, I will have a link. Just, you know, it's just, you can just, you can Google Love Hyalam. I'll write that underneath. It's easy to find, but I'll try to put a link for you guys just so you could find out more. But I am not sponsored by them. I am not an affiliate of any sort whatsoever. These are just something that, that I have been getting and I feel really good about helping out. And um, I like this stuff a lot. And um, you guys have enjoyed the unboxings and so I wanted to just show it to you. So like I said, it's nothing for I'm connected to them at all. Um, I just enjoy the products and enjoy being able to support Israel. So, all right, well guys, 
Um, I'm just smelling glorious here, and we're gonna try some of this yummy stuff. So, all right. Thanks for coming along, and I love you guys. Live simple, live free, and be very, very blessed. Alrighty, see you later. Bye-bye.